so yeah, just uh, thought I would say hi to you guys as I'm kind of in the passing lane. It looks like I'm going a little bit slower than I should. And the best thing is when you are in a Tesla and you're not driving, people stare at you with your hands or up in the air like, hey guys, no hands. They think that I'm completely insane. But that's the cool thing about the Tesla. You hit, uh, it's a cruise control, but it's for driving and uh, for steering and speed. So that's... Tell us a good Bruno story. Well, there's a great Bruno uh, talk is Jericho up right now. I decided to put it up after he passed away because it was one of my favorite episodes. It's the episode we did uh, in an Italian restaurant in Pittsburgh, like Billy Joel sees from an Italian restaurant. And um, he was amazing. So you can find that on iTunes and Apple Podcasts. You know, so I called it uh, In Memoriam. Bruno San Martino, what's it called? Exclusive encore presentation. That's it. You hear a lot of great stories that he told about his entire uh, life, about all the stuff that he had been through. One of my favorite guests I ever had, and we did it in an Italian restaurant because that was by his request. He um, wanted to do it there, which was really cool. And so usually. When I do a talk as Jericho, you like having some silence, no background noise, kind of affects some of the audio, but I figured, well, it's Bruno San Martino, it's what he wants to do, so I better, you know, live up to, uh, you know, if I'm going to try and get him, I got to, you know, do what he asks me to. We just had this amazing conversation right in the middle of the, uh, of the restaurant with all the background noise and waiters walking by and people clinking their forks and all that sort of stuff. So it was a really cool, uh, really cool moment. And Bruno was a great storyteller. If you've ever heard him on any other show, you know he's a great guest. He had such a crazy life, uh, not just in wrestling but beforehand. His mother was chased by the Nazis, and he lived in the hills of like Italy to escape, you know, the Nazi capture for a few years as a kid, and all this other cool stuff. So go check that out. Um, rest in peace, Bruno San Martino. When I met him, it was December of. 2016 looked like he could still kick my ass. He was a shit brick house, so great guy and uh, very very cool. Two days with Zach Myers. Oh yeah, uh, was it called Cody? Was it Cody? Is that what I'm about? No, Niacin. I don't remember. Nyquil. Whatever. We'll stop him. Uh, anyways, guys. Um, hey, how are you? Hi, Meg. So we're going to uh, Fort Myers. Like I said, something's wrong with my. Um, Instagram here, the comments aren't flowing, so I'm having to do it myself. So if I'm missing out on your guys' comments, it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's because it's not uh, scrolling like it should. So 